Hey there, it is Jennifer from Tarl Speech with your pronunciation question of the week. We have a little bit of a long one today. We have five words. Court, a tribunal, area for a game like basketball or tennis, or a romantic pursuit. Course, direction, set of dishes in a meal or an educational class, and course meaning rough courteous, polite, and respectful, and courtesy, a demonstration of politeness, or supplied free of charge. Even though we have a lot of words, I think the lesson is pretty straightforward today. I think spelling really confuses people here. To say all of these words, we're going to start with the k sound. K, k, k. My mouth is open, tip of my tongue is low, back of my tongue is pulled high up. Look at you. We got the beginning finished. Okay. Next for the or, what you're going to do is pucker. Ooh, when you pucker, your tongue is just flat in the middle of your mouth. There's not really many places for it to go. Then you're going to pull your lips back into that square tense shape. As you do that, the tip of your tongue is either going to be moving down to the bottom of your mouth or flipping back, but the back of your tongue will be pulled high up no matter what. Tip of the tongue does not move. Or, 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 for court. Then just touch the tip of the tongue to the back of the top front teeth, that little space where the teeth meet the roof of the mouth. And for the S, what you are going to do is you are just going to have your tongue behind your top front teeth or pointing slightly down. It does not touch the teeth and air is just going to move out continuously. S court, course, court, course, court, course. I should mention course and course are pronounced exactly the same. And I have another video on those since they are homophones and words that are pronounced exactly the same way. For courteous and courtesy, instead of saying or, we're just gonna go right to that er sound. Tip of the tongue is down or flipped back. Back of the tongue is pulled way high up, square tense lips. Cur, cur, cur. For courteous, next we're going to move to the D syllable. To do this, touch the tip of your tongue to the back of your top front teeth. Air puffs out. Voice box is on and moving for the D. D, D, D. Smile for that long E. High flat tongue. And then end with us, like you and I, us. It's just us. And to do that relaxed short uh sound and then add the S. Cur de us. Courteous, courteous, courteous. And now for courtesy, you're going to have cur da si. I spelled that wrong. I'm actually using that flap T there. Cur da si. Courtesy, courtesy, courtesy. So for the da, what you're going to do is touch the tip of your tongue to the back of your top front teeth, and then just open relaxed mouth and tongue for the a, uh, and then end with c for that s sound, and then smile for the long e, c. Let's put that all together. Cur, da, c. Courtesy, courtesy, courtesy. For those of you who are new to the channel, I write this as a D. These Ds are actually a flap T, with is a super fast D sound. Now, if you just say a D sound, that's gonna be fine. You can actually say a T sound, and people will still understand you if you say cur T us or cur T C. Both will be fine, but most Americans will use that flap T and say courteous and courtesy. So let's try this all again. Court, 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 course, 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 
courteous, 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 courtesy, courtesy, courtesy. And now for a sentence. I make these videos at a courtesy to you, and I am very thankful that you were all very courteous. So give it a try. I know people are going to notice a difference if you found this helpful. We'd love a like, a share, and a subscribe. Check out all of our products and classes at Tarl Speech, and I hope to see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.